Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to connect MetaMask to PancakeSwap. If you're looking to swap different uh, crypto assets that are on the Binance Smart Chain or just earn on your cryptocurrency, PancakeSwap can be an amazing way for you to do that. And we have a host of videos here on the channel that'll walk you through different aspects of the PancakeSwap platform. But this video is going to show you how to connect your MetaMask wallet with PancakeSwap so that you can actually start to do all of these different things that you're able to do on the PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap platform. Now, quick bit of explanation. PancakeSwap is what is known as a decentralized exchange or DEX. This basically means that it is a way for you to exchange your cryptocurrency assets without kind of a centralized institution. So instead of uh, trading with an institution, you're trading back and forth with others that are kind of adding their liquidity to this exchange that allows you to then exchange on the platform. Now, you don't need to know the ins and outs of how all these things work because I'm gonna show you right now how you can link your MetaMask wallet with PancakeSwap, even if you don't have a MetaMask wallet yet. So the first step is going to be to set up a MetaMask wallet and let's dive into that process right now. So you can find a link in the description below to sign up for MetaMask and it's going to take you to a page that looks something like this. Now from here, you're going to click download now. You're going to choose whether you want to download the Chrome extension, the iOS app or the Android app. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the Chrome extension. We're going to press install MetaMask for Chrome. It's going to take you to the Chrome web store. As you can see, I've already got it installed, but if you didn't, it would say add to Chrome instead of remove from Chrome. You click that button and then follow the step-by-step -step process to sign up for MetaMask and get your account up and running. Now, something that's very important as you're signing up for MetaMask is you're going to be given a secret phrase. This is going to be a list of words that you're going to want to record on a piece of paper safely and securely. Don't store this online and make sure you do not lose it because if you lose this phrase, you're going to be locked out permanently of your MetaMask account. There's no way to say you forgot your password. There's no way to recover your account if you lose this phrase. So do make sure that you keep track of this phrase. You keep it in a safe place and you don't let anybody else access it because if anybody has access to this phrase, they'll be able to access all of your cryptocurrency stored within your MetaMask wallet. Now, once you've got that all set up, you can head over to this puzzle piece icon right here, scroll down and find your MetaMask plugin. Uh, click on that little pin guy and then he'll show up right here in your search bar um, so you can just click on it whenever you want and instantly access your metamask account all right so now that you've got your metamask wallet all set up what it should look like when you click on it is this so you click on it you'll see um, account one ethereum mainnet and it'll say zero eth as you can see i've already got some ethereum within my metamask wallet but you will not have any to start out now what you're going to need to know about pancake swap is like i mentioned earlier it runs through the binance smart chain network not the ethereum network so what we're going to have to do is add the binance smart chain network to our metamask wallet so that it can be supported on pancake swap so i'm going to walk through that process right now you're going to want to head down to the description and use the link that starts with academy.binance. Click on that link and it's going to take you to a page that looks something like this. Now from here, you're going to want to scroll down until you see something that says mainnet. Okay, so boom, right here, mainnet. This is the information that you're going to need to allow you to add uh, the Binance Smart Chain mainnet to your MetaMask wallet. So how you're going to do that is click on your little MetaMask guy, click on Ethereum mainnet. As you can see, I've already got the Binance Smart Chain mainnet added, but if you don't, if you don't see that there, you're going to press add network. It's gonna prompt you to come to this page and you're gonna fill in the information from this page, okay? The network name, the RPC URL, the chain ID, the symbol, and the block explorer URL. You're gonna fill in all of that information over here. And then it's going to give you this prompt here that says Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. So then whenever you go into MetaMask, you can then toggle between those two options. So for example, with my uh, MetaMask wallet, you can see Ethereum Mainnet is selected. I can toggle this, go to Binance Smart Chain Mainnet, and boom, it switches over. You can see some BNB in here, and it's going to be on the Binance Smart Chain. So once you've got that set up, now you're ready to link that to PancakeSwap. So now once you head over to PancakeSwap.Finance, it should look something like this, where you see this Connect Wallet button up in the top right-hand corner. What you're going to want to do is click on that button. You'll press MetaMask, and then boom, it should just instantly connect to your MetaMask wallet. There might be a prompt that pops up from MetaMask the first time you do this, asking you if you want to share some information with PancakeSwap. You're just going to press Accept on that, and then you'll be all connected. Now, the next step is we're going to have to get some BNB into our MetaMask wallet, because if we want to swap tokens on PancakeSwap, we're going to need some BNB token or Binance coin in order to do that. So the process for getting BNB is a little bit more complicated if you are in the United States. If you're not in the United States, what you can do is 
you can just make an account on Binance and buy some BNB there. But since most of our viewers are in the United States and I'm in the United States myself, I'm kind of going the long way around. You can do this if you're outside the US, but this is the method that you're going to use if you are inside of the US. So you're going to need to use two different services to do this. The first of which is called Gemini. The second of which is called SimpleSwap. And there are links to both of them in the description below that will allow you to score yourself some free crypto and help out the channel in the process. So first step is going to be to sign up for Gemini. And high level overview of what we're doing here is on Gemini, we're going to buy some Bitcoin. Then we're going to use SimpleSwap to turn that Bitcoin into BNB or Binance coin. Okay. And with that Binance coin, then we'll be able to transact on PancakeSwap. So first step is to get some Bitcoin with Gemini. Again, link in the description below if you use that and uh, transact with at least $100 on the Gemini platform, you'll get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin to start trading with. So nice little bonus there. So once you click on that link in the description, it should take you to a page that looks something like this, where we mentioned again, that $10 of free Bitcoin offer. We're going to press get started. And it's going to take you through the sign up process. You're going to enter in your information here. The Gemini is going to need to verify that you are who you say you are. It's a pretty simple process though. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And I'll catch you guys within my Gemini account to show you what the next step is once you're all signed up. So once you get all signed into Gemini, you should see a page that looks something like this, except in your portfolio, you're going to see a balance of $0 to get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do is buy some Bitcoin. So how we're going to do that is we're going to press market. We're going to click on Bitcoin. We're going to say buy how often once how much let's just say a hundred dollars we'll press continue you'll have to link up your bank account using plaid so however you want to add that um, you could also add a debit card as well but the fees are a little bit higher so i personally recommend a bank account you'll add that bank account you'll select that bank account you'll press confirm you'll see there is a slight fee for buying bitcoin with gemini from a bank account you'll press confirm and then that bitcoin will be bought and added to your gemini balance in order to find that we'll go back to home Again, you'll see your portfolio right here. You'll press view portfolio. And then as you can see, we've already got a few hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin in our portfolio right now. The next step is going to take that Bitcoin and turn it into BNB coin that will be added to your MetaMask wallet. How do you do that? The easiest way is to use a platform called SimpleSwap. Again, link in the description below that will give you some free swap tokens for your first transaction. So when you click on that link, it should take you to a page that looks something like this. From here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to send Bitcoin and you're going to want to receive BNB coin. Okay, so you're typing BNB here and what you're gonna notice. So what you're gonna notice here is that there are two BNB coins. There's Binance coin and there's Binance coin BSC BEP20, okay? BSC stands for Binance Smart Chain. Like we said before, PancakeSwap operates on the Binance Smart Chain. So that's the version that we're going to want. So make sure you select the BEP20 version. And then from here, you're going to select how much Bitcoin you want to send over. So you'll look at Gemini, you'll look at how much Bitcoin you bought. You can see we have 0 0.014 Bitcoin. Let's say we want to send over 0 0.01 Bitcoin. So point. 01 Bitcoin. You can see with that, we're going to receive 0.888 BNB. So if that's what we want to do, we'll press exchange. Then from here, we will see, okay, boom. So basically what, what SimpleSwap is doing is they're setting up this transaction so that you're going to send your Bitcoin to a certain address, and then they're going to send your BNB to a different address. So what you're going to need to do first here is add your recipient address for BNB coin right down here. Now, the easiest way to do that with MetaMask is to just click on this little MetaMask icon. It'll pop up a little prompt here asking you if you want to share your data from MetaMask to SimpleSwap. You'll just press accept, and then it'll populate your recipient address right here. Next, you'll press create an exchange. It'll bring you to this next screen where you can see, okay, I have to send this deposit to this address. And then this uh, kind of progress bar will start moving through the, the process here. So what you're gonna need to do here is copy this address, come on over to Gemini. Within Gemini, you're gonna press transfer. You're going to press withdraw from Gemini because we're going to need to send some Bitcoin from Gemini to SimpleSwap. And then SimpleSwap is going to send our BNB coin to MetaMask. So we'll go currency, uh, we're looking for Bitcoin. Continue, destination, we'll paste in that address we got from SimpleSwap. Amount, we'll go to SimpleSwap. See, we need to send 0.01 Bitcoin, great. So we'll say 0.01 Bitcoin, four to $30, great, continue. And then you'll just press request withdraw. At that point, Gemini is going to send your Bitcoin to SimpleSwap. SimpleSwap is going to reflect that in this progress bar down here. And then once it gets over to sending, then they're going to send that crypto to MetaMask. All in all, it'll take a couple of minutes, but then within MetaMask, you will see that your BNB has been reflected. So once that happens, you are now ready to head back over to PancakeSwap. Now at this point, we're on PancakeSwap. We've got our wallet connected. And within our wallet, we have some BNB coins. 
So at this point, you're all set to start exchanging, earning, winning from the lottery, buying NFTs, all of those great things that you can do from PancakeSwap, which we have tons of tutorials about here on the channel. So if those are of interest, be sure to subscribe and check those out. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.